Sure. 
Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us in worship in our sanctuary and online. I'm Jim Kaplan, a member of Congregation Beth Torah, and I'm pleased to lead worship tonight as Shaliach Sibur, an emissary of the congregation. I'm joined by Leslie Zucker, our music director, and our rhythm section of Larry Meyer and Joel Krishiver, uh, and by our technical team. Thank you to the Beyond Our Walls BOW Bow Committee uh, for keeping us connected and to our digital docents uh, for managing the streaming of our service. If you are technically inclined and you would like to help, please contact the office staff for some more information about volunteering. If you are joining us on one of our virtual platforms, links to a PDF of the prayer pages and other information will be posted in the comments section or are available in our e-news. The prayer pages I call from Mishkan Halev uh, will be for those of us here tonight. For those at home, the pages in your PDF packet are sequential and assembled in order. For, for semi-immediate technological help, you may reach out to CBT's technical assistance line, TAL, uh, at 913-303-1134. Text them your phone number and a docent will call you as soon as they can. We will continue worship reading together from the lower paragraph on page four. Our sages teach, wherever 10 Jews live, they must set up a building where they can come together to pray. Such a place is called a Beit Knesset, a house of assembly, a synagogue. And so we learn, wherever 10 gather in prayer, the divine presence is among them. There is holiness in community, for in community we meet the Holy One. Hine Matov, how good it is to be together. How good to gather as one people before our God who cherishes the uniqueness of each soul. Hine Matov, precious is the gift of community. Blessed the joy of our gathering. Kol Hanishama, page six. Kol Hanishama, of page seven. May all who gather this evening be blessed. Those who celebrate, we wish you joy. Your happiness made sweeter because it is shared. Baruch atadonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hatov v'hametiv. You abound in blessings, soul of goodness. We praise you for bestowing goodness. We welcome Shabbat together by lighting the Shabbat candles. The blessing is on page 10. Somebody asked me about this recently. You know who you are. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech Shekirshanu be mitzvotav Vetsivanu Lehad likner, lehad likner Shel Shabbat Source of blessing, eternal our God, you fill the universe with majestic might teaching us holiness through sacred obligations, giving us the mitzvah of bringing light to Sh on Shabbat. Page 13, Psalm 95, Come let us sing to Adonai, L'chu Naranana. L'chu Naranana, L'chu Naranana, L'chu Naranana, Yeah. 
do Bills me wrote Maria Love Look who the run and all Look who the run and all Look who the run and all I don't know Continue on page 21. Reading together. Peace is with you. Angels of stillness enter. Bless me, give me rest. God knows I need you. God knows I'm asking. Harried, impatient, at war with myself. Make your home in my soul. Fill my home with your light. Let me breathe in your quiet. Help me savor shalom. Peace is with you. Angels of stillness enter. Bless me, give me rest. Lechado D, page 22. Lecha, lechado D, lichrat, lichrat, chala, p'nei, p'nei, shabbat, nechavela. Lecha, lechado D, lichrat, lichrat, chala, p'nei, p'nei, shabbat, nechavela. La, 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 lechado D, lichrat, lichrat, chala, p'nei, p'nei, shabbat, nechavela. Shamor v'zachor b'dibor echad Ishmi anu hel hamayichad Adonai echad u'shamo echad L'shem v'tiferet v'litchila La 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 uh, which one are we doing? I'm sorry. Likrat Shabbat, Lechu V'nelcha, Ki Makor Avracha, Merosh Mikedim Nesucha, Sof Ma'aseh B'mach Shabbat Chila, La 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 he tore a re, he tore a re. Kiva orech, kumi ori, uri uri shir dabe re. Kavod Adonai alayich nigla la 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 Gam besimcha uvzohola Doch emunei am segula Bo ichala, bo ichala Lechala chado di, likrat likrat kala Bnei bnei shabbat nekabela the top of page 26. There is no human being who does not carry a treasure in the soul, a moment of insight, a memory of love, a dream of excellence, a call to worship.
Noam Katz, composer of the melody for our next prayer, was re reportedly inspired by a midrash. The prayer evokes the mood of Adam's first night on earth, alone in the Garden of Eden. As the sun began to descend from the sky, Adam feared it would never rise again, and that he would be relegated to a lifetime of darkness. He then slept until the first gleam of daybreak emerged again from the horizon. The light had returned, and Adam realized that this would be the way of God's world, the passing of time, the seamless flow of life cycles, of light into dark and darkness back into night. Roll into dark, roll into light, night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light, night becomes day. We continue on the bottom of 29. Holy is twilight, the realm of in-between, and so our sages taught, pray in the moments when light and darkness touch. We are all twilight people, beyond categories and labels. May the sacred in-between of this evening suspend our certainties, soften our judgments, widen our vision. Let it, illumine, let it illumine our way to the God who transcends all boundaries and definitions. Blessed are you, God of all, who brings on the twilight. Page 32. <laughs> We continue on page 38 at the bottom. Truth and faith, these are fundamental to our existence. God alone is their source, and we are Israel, a people of God. Our sovereign saves us from tyranny, redeems us through its violence, through countless wonders, from its brutality through great feats beyond measure. We are Israel, a people of God, the giver of life, 
who would not let our feet give way, the maker of miracles for us against Pharaoh, of signs and portents in the land of Egypt, the one who brought our people Israel from its midst to enduring freedom. Page 40. Mi famo chava elim Adonai Mi famo chanedar b'kodesh Nora tehilot osef ele Malachutecha Ra'u vanecha Pokea yam lifne Moshe Miriam Adonai et Baruch Atadonai Ga'ah Yisrael Amen. Page 42. Bless our sleep with peace, Adonai, and awaken us to life when we rise. With power sublime, spread over us your shelter of shalom, and through your wisdom restore us, make us whole. Let your name proclaim your presence in our lives. Be our shield. Make us stronger than the enemies we face, illness and war, famine and sorrow, and stronger than the enemies in our hearts, wickedness and sin. Carry us to safety as on wings, for you are the monarch of grace, the sovereign of compassion. You are the one who cares for us and sets us free. Watch over us, we who go forth to life. Watch over us, that we may come home in peace now until the end of time. Baruch atah Adonai HaPorei Sukkot Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'akol Amo Yisrael Baruch atah Adonai HaPorei Sukkot Shalom Shalom Aleinu Adonai, et 
Page 56. You sanctified the seventh day for the sake of your name, a final defining act in the creation of heaven and earth. Among all days you blessed this one. Among all seasons you sanctified this one. And thus it is written in your Torah, Completed now were the heavens and the earth and their whole array. And on the seventh day, God completed the work that had been done. And God ceased on the seventh day from work all that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and called it holy. For on it, God ceased from all work, the creating that God had done. Page 60. God, who is ours, and God of our fathers and mothers, May our rest on this Shabbat bring you pleasure. Lead us to holiness through your mitzvot, and may each of us find a portion of the Torah that is ours. You bestow such goodness. Teach us to be satisfied and to know the joy of your salvation. Help us to serve you truly with purity of heart. Let your holy Shabbat be our heritage, embraced freely and with love. And may all our people bring holiness to your name by resting on this day. Baruch Ataronai. Mekadesh HaShabbat. Eternal our God, your people Israel yearns for your favor. Receive their prayer with loving acceptance, and may you always desire your people's worship. Divine One, close to all who call upon you. Bring your grace and presence near to those who serve you. Pour forth your spirit on us. We continue the Amida individually, reading silently to page 74 and adding the prayers that are in our hearts. 
When you have completed your prayers, please be seated. Shabarach prayer asks for our healing. There is a list of some who need our prayers of healing, be it emotional, spiritual, or physical, in the e news you received this morning. The link is also in the comments, or you received it this evening in your prayer book. Um, if you have additional names to add, please type them in the comments section now so that we may include them in our prayers. For those of you who are here with us, we offer an opportunity to identify others in our prayers. The Mishabarach is on page 77.
offer a prayer for those who help. May the one who blessed and led our forebears give countenance unto those who provide help for the ill and the troubled among us. May they be filled with fortitude and courage, endowed with sympathy and compassion, as they give strength to those at their side. May they fight against despair and continue to find within themselves the will to teach out to those, sorry, the will to reach out to those in need. And in their love of others, may they feel the blessing of community and the blessing of renewed faith. At this time, uh, if you are so moved, please share a special simcha, a joy from this past week, by typing your simcha in the comments section. This may include birthdays, anniversaries, good news, or an accomplishment of any kind. Please use just a few words and be sure to press enter. For those of you who are here in person, uh, we invite you to join us here at the simcha mic. Please come up just one person or one family at a time. Uh, please wear your mask. And please don't touch the super sensitive microphone. It's very sensitive. Um, it will hear you. Um, please come share your simcha with us if you have one. There's an X spot. Hi, I'm Carol. And this last week I had the joy of distributing uh, Rosh Hashanah gifts to certain members of our congregation. They're, the whole team were supposed to be distributed to everybody. And I had um, 11, including myself. So the first day I called and I was able to deliver three. So then I was set to deliver seven yesterday. And I delivered six and I missed the last one so I delivered that one today. And she was so concerned that she was putting me out. And I said, I don't even have to keep the car cold. <laughs> we had chocolate. I couldn't just leave the, the gifts at the door. I had to make sure someone was there to receive them. But it was so much fun. And somebody asked me, actually, uh, if they ate the chocolate, would they turn their hair purple? <laughs> and I said, I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. come up but to follow up with her I had somebody come up to my door this week and my roommate said hey there's somebody at the door so I go and they said hi and there said the shellac me note basket thank you now I really feel a part of the, of the community thank you I'm Lauren, and I have two things. On Monday, I turned 74. Awesome. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. And today, I saw the orthopedist about eight and a half months post-surgery, and she said I'm doing remarkably well for what she described as a catastrophic injury. <laughs> so, and that maybe over the next four or six months, I can gain more function and movement, so kind of I'm happy it. about that. Yay. So in honor of your simchas, I want to tell you a midrash that is told of a Russian lumber merchant who was doing his bookkeeping, counting his profits. At the end of one column, his mind just kind of wandered, and he wrote the phrase, Ein od mil vado, there is nothing else beside God. 
When his accountant was reviewing the books, he criticized the lumber merchant for letting his mind roam and scolded him, saying, you know, there's a time for meditating on the oneness of God, and there's a time for business. Belief in God is not a license to be careless in one's practical dealings. The lumber merchant replied, if a person knew that during worship, during silent meditation, one of the businessmen was thinking of the recent trade fair in Leipzig, no one would be the least bit surprised. So why should it be considered such an offense that if during business, one slips into thinking about God? The concept behind Ein Ode Milvado, there is none beside God, is that our world is not an independent entity. If our world was a separate entity from God, then it would make no sense to say that God is the only existence and that there's nothing else beside God. Instead, Ein Ode Milvado expresses the concept that God is, in fact, in everything. To extend this Ein Ode Milvado concept to this moment, we need only to realize the immeasurable good fortune that we are able to share our joys with each other. Thank you for sharing your Simcas with us, and we hope that you're fortunate to have many more, God willing. In your honor, we offer the following prayer. Divine source of blessing, we thank you for everything that enriches our lives. We turn to you now with gratitude as we share in the happiness of all those who have come forward to mark the Simcha moments that enhance their week. Adonai be with them now and always. May they be blessed with health and happiness and with the strength to overcome sickness and sorrow. Amen. We acknowledge the gifts that each one of you bring to this sacred community, and we join together in singing the Shehechianu. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu Vikimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazeh Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu Vikimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazeh That was awesome. <laughs> Rabbi Levi Yitzchak of Berdichev was a Hasidic leader of the 18th century Europe. He was well known for his overwhelming love of God. His love was so great that he reportedly lived in a constant state of ecstasy. On Shabbat, as he recited prayers to God, no one knew what might happen. He might throw his Kiddush cup full of wine up into the air, he might jump on the table and begin dancing or he might break out into an hour-long song, clapping and singing in deafening joy. The story goes that Rabbi Levi Yitzchak wanted to share a Shabbat with another Hasidic master, Reb Baruch of Medziboz. However, there was a problem. At Reb Baruch's Shabbat table, everything was dignified and solemn. The wild spontaneity of Rabbi Levi Yitzchak would be very, very unwelcome. So the two rabbis struck a deal. Rabbi Levi Yitzchak determined that he could control his passion if he remained silent through the blessings and only uttered amen during the meal. So Shabbat arrives, and the rabbis and their families and students gather at the solemn home of Reb Baruch. Everything went smoothly. Um, it was all smooth until Reb Baruch's servant asked Rabbi Levi Yitzchak whether he would prefer his fish sweet or sour. Fish, he shouted. Do I like fish? I love fish and I love God. And he was so overcome with ecstasy, he threw his arms up in the air, striking the plate of fish, sending it flying. The fish plate then descended and landed on Reb Baruch's talus, staining it thoroughly. The room became silent as everyone awaited Reb Baruch's response. Reb Baruch calmly announced, these stains are holy because they were caused by a Jew who really loves God. And he refused to wash the stains out because they represented enthusiasm, joy, and love of God in a manner that Reb Baruch could not practice himself, but that he could understand and appreciate. That famous stain talus was passed down through generations along with the story of its origin. The concept that joy should accompany one's spiritual life has a long-held basis. In his book, To Heal the Soul, Rabbi Kalman Shapira writes that every human being is filled with passion. The question we need to answer is in which direction, direction should we aim our passion? 
In this week's Parsha, Kitavo, we also learn about the importance of passion in our spiritual lives. Aristotle wrote that happiness is the ultimate goal toward which all humans aim. But that's really not quite true in Judaism. The Hebrew word that comes closest to expressing the concept of happiness is ashray. It's the first word in the book of Psalms, and we read the ashray prayer in multiple services throughout the day. But Rabbi Jonathan Sachs points out that ashray, or happiness, is really not the central value of the Torah. The word simcha, or joy, appears 10 times more often. It's a fundamental theme of the book of Deuteronomy as Moses recounts the lessons that should guide our lives. There are two contexts in which joy plays a key role in this week's parsha. The first is described associated with bringing the first fruits to the temple in Jerusalem. The Torah describes a joyous ceremony, and we read that you will all rejoice in the good things that Adonai has given you in your family, along with the Levites and the stranger in your midst. The second concept, discussing joy, is less pleasant. In Kitavo, there's a litany of unimaginably grim curses that occur simply because you did not serve Adonai with joy and gladness of your heart out of the abundance of all things. Living without joy may not be a, a, a good way to live, but why is it such a cursed sin? Rabbi Sachs suggests that we need to differentiate between happiness and joy to understand this. So in the first psalm, we learn about ashray, about happiness. Happy is the one whose desire is in the Torah of Adonai. If on God's Torah one meditates day and night, one shall be like a tree planted by streams of water, bearing its fruit in its season. So this serene life is granted to one who lives in accordance with Torah. Life is rooted and solid like a tree. Yet, despite all that serenity, happiness is the state of mind of just one individual. In contrast, simcha in Torah is not about individuals. It's about the joy we share. In the Torah, we read that by law, a newly married man does not serve in the army for a year, so he may stay home and share joy with the wife he has married. According to Moses, we were to bring offerings to a central sanctuary so that there in the presence of Adonai, you and your family shall eat and rejoice in all that you have put your hand to because God has blessed you. Simcha is joy shared, not something to be experienced in solitude. While happiness is an attitude toward a life well lived, joy lives in the moment. As J.D. Salinger wrote, Happiness is a solid, but joy is a liquid. You may purchase happiness, no, you may, but that's not what I was gonna say. <laughs> you may pursue happiness, that's better. Uh, you really can't purchase happiness, I gotta, I'm sorry, but you really can't. It's, <laughs> um, sorry. You may pursue happiness, but joy finds you. It occurs when our happiness joins contagiously with others' happiness. Joy derives from connection to other people and to God. The Torah suggests that we find true meaning in our lives, not in happiness, but in joy, because joy lives not in the thoughts of tomorrow, but in the gratefulness and celebration of today. We are here, we are alive, and we're with others who share the simcha of our sense of joy. As Rabbi Sachs points out, we're living in God's land, enjoying God's blessing, eating the produce of God's earth, watered by God's rain, brought to fruition under God's sun, breathing the air God breathed into us, and living the life God renews in us every day. When we let go of our separateness and become a voice in the choir around us, then there is joy. Kierkegaard wrote, it takes moral courage to grieve, but it takes religious courage to rejoice. The history of the Jewish people has been recurrently punctuated by tragedy, but Judaism has con consistently held to the capacity to rejoice, to sing the Lord's song even in a strange land. The capacity for joy helps us survive our failures and defeats. On Sukkot, we proudly leave our secure, comfortable homes and sleep in a shack exposed to the wind, the heat, the cold, the rain, the bugs, and we call it Zman Simchatenu, our season of joy. That is being a Jew. <laughs> Moses taught that the capacity for joy would give us strength to endure. Celebrating our joys together binds us as a people and leads us to acknowledge that our achievements are not self-made, but they derive from God. The purchase, wow, it came up again. The pursuit of happiness, I really, so purchasing happiness cannot be done. I mean, it just, it doesn't, doesn't belong in here and it cannot be done. The pursuit of happiness leads to self-regard and indifference to the suffering of others. In contrast, joy connects us to others. 
Joy gives us the ability to celebrate life and its pleasures communally. Rabbi Sachs writes, a people that can know insecurity and still feel joy is one that can never be defeated. For its spirit shall never be broken, nor its hope destroyed. May we each feel joy in the many moments of our days, and may we feel that together. Kane Yehiratzon. One reason that the rabbis added the Elena L'Shabeach to the closing of each worship service was to end the service on a hopeful note. No matter what our days are like now, our best days still lie ahead. The Elenu is on page 78 and concludes on page 80. Please rise. Alleinu l'shabach l'adon hakol L'atet gedula l'otzev reshit Shelo asanu kegoye haratzot Velo osamanu k'mishpachot hadama Shelo sam chelkenu kahen Vegohor alenu kechol hamonam Vanachnu korim This week, we remember those laid to rest. Um, Ela Tudi Brown, mother-in-law of Lon Lowenstein, and those recently laid to rest in the Shloshim period, Ruth Rivi Zifrin, uh, Zifrin Lerner, aunt of Steve Cooper, Miri Sarid Klopper Froelich, niece of Phyllis Goldberg, and Craig Zucker, brother and brother-in-law of Dave and Leslie Zucker. We also remember those whose yard sites occur this week, Je Jeannie Bellotti, Faye Ginson, Gilbert Greenwald, Bessie Karch, Ruth Katz, David Kupperman, Chester Lambert, Minda Naomi Levy, Philip Lustig, Audrey Milgram Klein Bear, John Pavlov, Jack M. Rozovsky, Raymond Rittmaster, Maya Rosentrader, Nathan Salls, Bertha Spector, Jason Kip Weiner, Edith White, and Stacy F. Yeldon. If you're here to say Kaddish for someone, please um, let, let us know their names so we may include them in our prayers. Zikranam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing. Kaddish Yatom is on page 86. We stand as a community to support those in mourning. Yit Gadal, Viet Gadash, Shemei Rabbah, the Alma, Divra, Hirute, Viamlich, Malchute, the Kayechon, of Yomechon, of Kaye, the Kol Beit Yisrael, Bagalal, Vizman, Kariv, Vimru, Amen. Yehe, Shemei Rabbah, Mavarach, Leolam, Omeo, Maya, Yit Barach, Vishtabach, Vit Baar, Vit Ramam, Vit Nase, Vit Adar, Vit Ale, Vit Alal, Shemei de Kudishah, Brihu, Le Elam in Kol Birchata, Vashirata, Tush Bechata, Venechemata, Da Amiran Bilma Vimru Amen. Yeh Shlama Rabba Min Shmaya, the Chaim Alenu Vil Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. O Se Shalom Bim Ramav, Huya Se Shalom Alenu Vil Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. O Se Shalom Bim Ramav, Huya Se Shalom
For a few words of announcement, I'd like to call on Aviva Simons. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. First, thank you very much to our worship team tonight, Dr. Jim Kaplan, Leslie Zucker, Larry Meyer, and Joel Critchever. Thank you very much. And also thank you to Dave Zucker in the back, who is literally bringing us beyond our walls this evening. There we go. Tomorrow morning, all are welcome to join us for Sichat Shabbat, our Shabbat conversation. This will take place at 9 o'clock a.m. in person in the library and virtually on Zoom. Following Sichat Shabbat, all are welcome to join us for a, our Shabbat morning service, which will take place at 10.30 a.m. And just like this service tonight, all are welcome to join us in person or online via Facebook and our virtual sanctuary. Believe it or not, Tomorrow <laughs> begins the High Holy Day season, which I cannot believe, but here we are. <laughs> so tomorrow night is Slichot. This is the first service of the High Holy Days, and we are honored at Beth Torah to be hosting this Slichot service on behalf of the Jewish Kansas City community. So tomorrow night we begin at 9 o'clock p.m., so it's a little bit later, um, and we will begin with Rabbi Jeffrey Salkin, who will zoom in with us, and he will be discussing looking for God in all the right places. So I'm looking forward to that. Following Rabbi Jeffrey Salkin will be our formal Slichot service. So this will be live streamed on our Facebook page and the virtual sanctuary, and also in person. And Beth Torah members, if you did not register, it's okay. You're welcome to still join us in person and online. And we're really looking forward to it tomorrow. All right. Next, on Thursday, September 2nd, we will be preparing our bodies for the High Holy Days with Joel Critchever, who has many talents, as you can see. <laughs> so how, you might ask, will we prepare our bodies? We will be contemplating the High Holy Days through Jewish meditation. So everyone is welcome to join us in person, and this will also be live streamed on Facebook and we welcome all experience levels, including those who would just like to have a taste of meditation, right? All right. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that. And one last reminder, the deadline to RSVP to join us for in-person High Holy Day services is coming up on Wednesday, September 1st. So if you would like to join us here at Beth Torah in person, there is a Google form. It just takes a few moments. Um, which we would appreciate you filling out by Wednesday. If you would like to join us online, all services will be live streamed on our Facebook page and the Virtual Sanctuary, and there is no RSVP for that, so you're all set. And lastly, I would like to thank Lauren Aronson and Phil Meltzer, and Lauren's here with us tonight, for sponsoring tonight's To Go Oneg, Oneg To Go, in loving memory of 2D Brown. Thank you. Thank you, Aviva. Um, we continue next on, uh, oh, we continue the shofar service. We sound the shofar during the month of Elul to signal the approaching days of awe. The shofar blasts stir us to engage in cheshbon hanefesh, an accounting of the soul. We read together paragraph three at the top of page 90. Summon the energy to sound the horn, muster the strength to change. Move from judgment to compassion, shift your perspective and heal. Be the first to apologize, offer the hand of forgiveness, open your heart to hear the horn, believe in the power to change. Baruch Atadonai, Shomea Trua. Tikia. Shvarim Trua. Kia Thank that, you. That was pretty darn cool. Yeah. So we sort of thought that having the two chauffeurs out would would seem like, you know, from the mountaintops 
I don't know. It did. Uh, it hit a really cool vibration. I don't know if you could all feel that out there, but that was awesome. So thank you, Leslie, Larry, and Joel, and to our bow committee and our technical team. Our closing song is Olan Chesed Yibane. It's on page 92. Shabbat shalom. Take care of each other out there. Mwah.